Hello happy people, I'm back with another video and today I'm excited because Madam Glam reached out and wanted me to review some more of their products and of course I said yes because I love Madam Glam polishes so let's hop right on into what they sent me. So here is the packaging here. Y'all know Madam Glam's packaging is super nice and super glam um, and so it says Madam Glam New York, everything you love at your fingertips which is so cute. Um, this right here is their VIP program. So they do have a VIP program where if you sign up for it you pay a certain amount every month and um, that money just kind of sits in like a, an account and then you can use it towards the purchase of future gel polishes so it's kind of like a savings account almost and then over here it has their um, social media handles and their website madamglam.com and of course you guys one thing I love about Madam Glam is that they're vegan cruelty free HEMA free and nine free so let's hop right on into these colors so they did allow me to pick out um five more colors and so these are the colors that, that i chose and yeah let's just take these all out again you guys packaging absolutely love it um i love how nice and plush this is on the inside it really gives that lush feeling and also keeps your products nice and protected while during shipping so these are the colors that i chose um this time around when i was choosing colors from madam glam i really wanted to try and focus on um i really want to kind of build my collection of madam glam polishes and so i wanted to choose um everyday colors that i'd be able to use in a lot of different sets so i had to go in and get a black and a white so i did get the perfect black and the perfect white okay um and i want to be able to try to use their gel polishes for nail art i've seen a couple of reviews that said that their polishes are good for nail art so i'm going to be testing it out for you guys but i did get a white and i did get a black and i did get a yellow because y'all know yellow is my favorite color and the name of this is called fries before guys which i think is just super cute i love the names of their um gel polishes and then we also have a builder gel here you guys so you all know i am um trying out different techniques on my channel um, everything from poly gel to acrylic to builder gel to just regular full cover tips um i'm just wanting to try it all and so i wanted to try builder gel in a bottle from uh, Madame Glam and I did get the Builder Light Beige. I originally wanted to try their, um, I forget the name of the Builder I wanted to try, but it was like a Milky White Builder Gel, um, but they didn't have it in stock so I ended up going with the Light Beige. And then the color I'm most excited about, I'm not even gonna lie you guys, it is called Moon Tears, okay? And it's a really cool reflective polish. So let's get into how all of these look. So the first one here is the Perfect White from Madame Glam. Okay, and this is what it looks like. Ooh, that's a nice stark white there. That's really pretty, you guys see that? That is a really nice stark white. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I really just love this formula. You see how nice and smooth and creamy this is? I really, really love Madame Glam formula. Like it's not too thick, not too thin. Absolutely love it. So next we have the Perfect Black. Wow. Ooh, that's black black. Okay. That is black black. Wow. Yeah, that's nice. Okay. I'm excited to swatch these, y'all. Yeah, so that's Perfect Black. Okay. The next color we have here is the Fries Before Guys, which I absolutely love the name of this. And this is a yellow. Let's see how this looks. Ooh. Very pretty. Let me mix it up a little bit here. Very pretty. Look at that. It's kind of like a golden yellow, which is really nice. That's the kind of yellows I really like to have. So this is a nice golden yellow color. And then we have the Builder Gel color that's in the Builder Light Beige, okay? Let's see what this looks like. Ooh. It's a really nice, thick consistency for a Builder Gel. Like, let's see here. I'm gonna just kinda hold it. And you all see it's like, it's really, really, really thick. Yeah, that's gonna be a cool Builder Gel to work with. And yeah, I got this really so that um, I could practice, like I said, building my nail with Builder Gel. But then also, if I just wanted to wear a nice, you know, nude color, 
I had one in the Builder Gel form to give my nail, my natural nail extra strength. And then the other color, and then the other color, which I'm not gonna lie, I'm probably the most excited about, is this um, cat eye polish. It's called Cat Eye Peacock Gel Polish. And it's called Moon Tears, y'all. There's so much happening in this gel polish. From the swatch at the top, I mean, oh my gosh. Okay, so let's go ahead and open it up and see. I'm so excited for this. Oh my God. This is so cool. Look at this. That is so, I mean, there's like so many different things going on with this gel polish. Okay, it's like, I don't even know how to describe it. There's so many different colors. So we have like the peacock colored like specks in it. But then we have like this gold re reflect, but I believe the base is like a black gel color. Like there's just so much going on with this. I'm excited to swatch this and play around with this. This is giving me galaxy vibes. And so we might just, we might just get into some galaxy nails today, y'all. We'll see. So let me go ahead and swatch everything for you guys. Another thing I really appreciate about Madame Glam polishes is that they do have these swatches here at the top of the lids, which I, I genuinely appreciate. And so, yeah, let's go ahead and get into these swatches. So I do have my swatch sticks here ready to go. The first one I'm gonna swatch is the perfect white, okay? And let's see how that swatches. Yeah, that's white, white. Okay. Wow. I'm impressed with the coverage for a white, you know? Impressive. Yeah, that's really nice. Look at that. Wow. That's really pretty. That is a beautiful white. Y'all see this? One coat. That's white, white. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna go ahead and cure that. The other great thing about Madame Glam polishes too is that they only have a 30 second cure time, which makes life a lot easier. So yeah, y'all, so that was the white. Let's look at how the black looks here, okay? Ooh, y'all see that? Wow. Yeah, this is good quality stuff here, yeah. And it's so easy to work with. Like, it's just so smooth. I like that. Not too thick, not too thin. Perfect viscosity, perfect consistency. Smooth coverage, one coat. Y'all see that? Wow. I like that. I like that a lot. Impressed. Okay. And so next we have our fries before guys. Let's see how this is looking. Ooh, that's a pretty yellow. That's a really pretty yellow. Oh, I love it. Okay. Quite nice there, quite nice. Yeah, that's pretty. Self levels beautifully. Okay. Next we have the Builder, which is in a light beige. And again, you can see it is of a thicker viscosity. So I'll be interested to try to even, I'll probably even try to practice building here on the swatch stick. Okay. Even though it's of a thicker consistency, it's still really easy to like maneuver and cover the nail with. So that's nice to see. Okay. And I'm gonna get a little bit more on, oh, well, that looks pretty good to me. I was, <laughs> I was gonna do another coat um, and try to build it up, but honestly it looks really, that's a, that's a really good shade. Let me just cure that. Then the last shade we have here, y'all, are these Moon Tears, which is just such an absolutely gorgeous cat eye situation going on. I mean, just look at how this looks out the bottle, though. Look at this. They're so pretty. Oh my gosh. I might have to do two swatches of this. I'll do one swatch with an actual cat eye and then one swatch of it just like as is because I wouldn't mind even just wearing it as is. So pretty. Yeah. Look at that, y'all. I'm gonna leave this one as is, and then I'm gonna go ahead and do my next swatch where I cat eye it out. So I'm gonna go ahead and cure this. So now I'm gonna try that same color moon tears with cat eye. Okay, I do have a magnet that I got from like another cat eye polish kit. 
I'm going to just use that to see how the cat eye effect looks. And I know that most people would do like a cat eye over um, like a black polish, but I just like to do it as is to look at the opacity. So I'm just gonna hold it here in the middle. Wow, look at that. That's pretty, that's really pretty. These are what all the colors are looking like with just one coat, okay? And then this right here are, is the cat eye polish with one coat, with the cat eye reflect and without. I am gonna do the second coat of these off camera and then I'll be right back. Okay y'all, so I did recently get some black swatch sticks in. So I thought testing out this cat eye polish would be the perfect time to use these. So I wanna show you all what this looks like on a black background. Holy smokes. You see that? That is pretty. Yeah, swatching that on a clear swatch stick didn't do it justice at all. I didn't even realize just how freaking stunning this is. Wow. Just look at that on a base by itself. That's pretty. That's really pretty. Okay, so this is it, um, not cat eyed out. I think I'm gonna do it, go ahead and do the two swatches like I did last time. I know <laughs> I have like four swatches of the same color, but I just wanna see the different effects that it can give. So that's gonna be how I do it with one. Okay, so this is the one I will cat eye, okay. Such a cool color. I'm speechless <laughs> I am speechless right now holy mackerel yeah that's a pretty color all right so I'm gonna go ahead and cure that all right you guys so all of the colors have been swatched I'm gonna go through each one and show you them up close so the first color we have here is perfect white okay and y'all this is like literally the perfect white it is very very like opaque and it's like a really nice stark white color happy that i picked this up really really like this okay next we have the perfect black which y'all is so funny but as i was swatching the second coat of this i just kept saying to myself this is such a pretty black color right like and you know i know like you know black is black right but this is like a really nice smooth black color like i don't know it's something about this black that i'm really drawn to it's just it's really nice so that is the perfect black next here we have fries before guys okay absolutely love the name of this yellow and absolutely love this shade it's just oops it's just like the perfect nice pure yellow that has like some golden undertones to it really really like this color a lot and this is the builder gel here in uh light beige okay and so that is what this color is looking like it's a really beautiful nude um color for a builder gel which i like it's, it almost looks like my nail bed but better that's kind of how I feel like this color is. So that's light beige. The last color we have here is Moon Tears. And holy smokes, do y'all see what's happening on this nail? Okay, so that's Moon Tears. Look at this. Wow. I'm like mesmerized by this polish. I'm not even gonna lie. Like, I have to use this in the set today. So yeah, but do y'all see how it has like these peacock flakes in it they're like purple and teal blue and green and the actual cat eye itself is gold which i've never seen before normally when i see cat eye it's like a silver shift to the cat eye this one is gold this is absolutely stunning i'm in love with this color 
And I did try this color on a couple of different backgrounds. And so this is what the color would look like if I didn't do the cat eye effect at all. Um, the black background definitely gives this, um, gives this polish more justice. I did try swatching it on clear swatch sticks and you just didn't get the same effect, right? So this is how it looked where you didn't, um, where I didn't cat eye it. And even still on that black background, you see how it just pops a little bit more. And then the same is true for um, this clear swatch stick here. I mean, the cat eye re reflect on here is still really pretty, but it just doesn't do it as much justice as it would have on a black background. You see the difference? Yeah, it just pops way more on that black background. So yeah, y'all, these are all the colors here. I'm gonna sit back and go to the drawing board and figure out what design I wanna come up with. I think I might be able to use all of these colors to be honest with you guys. So I think I wanna try to do a galaxy nail set. So that's gonna be interesting. It's gonna be a first for me, but let me see what design I wanna come up with and I'll be right back. Okay, happy people, I am back and my nails, I've applied my full cover tips. My nails have been file shaped and buff. I'm gonna go ahead and apply the Madame Lamb base coat. I do wanna make sure that I have a nice smooth surface that I am working with. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply that first. I really, really enjoy working with Madame Lamb products. I'm gonna cure this for 60 seconds. Okay, so now I'm gonna go in with this uh, Builder Gel and Light Beige. And I'm just gonna add this onto the nail so that I can build the structure of the nail. And I also just wanna see how it applies. I'm not gonna actually build up the structure too much on my nail because I have full cover tips on. But again, I just wanna see how this Builder Gel kinda works and how it applies. Ooh, I like it. I like the fact that it's not like too thick a lot of builder gels that I've used in the past they're like super thick so it's kind of hard to maneuver and work with the product this just feels like a really thick gel polish which I kind of like you know so um, I'll be inter interested to test this out at a later date and actually build up my nail with this uh, but again I'm kind of just using it as like a way to strengthen the nail um, just a way to strengthen my full cover tip I like the consistency of this building here. Yeah. So they did send me um, this uh, builder gel in place of a rubber base coat that I wanted to try. I wanted to try their rubber base coat in Thailand that was sold out and then I also wanted to try their rubber base coat in Malaysia that was also sold out. So I opted for a builder gel because I really want to work on, you know, trying out different methods of application, but this is a really beautiful sheer color here. So I'm gonna go ahead and cure this. Actually, I was reading the instructions here and the Builder Gel only needs to be cured for 30 seconds, which is amazing, along with all of their polishes. So I'm gonna go ahead and cure this for 30 seconds. Okay, so that's been cured for 30 seconds. That's a really pretty sheer color. So if I were to wear this on my nails and wear it out and about, I would probably do two coats of that and just like carry on. But I might actually in the future use this as a nude for like French tip nails. Um, but like I said, I really just did a layer of this for strength on my nails. Next, I'm gonna go in with the perfect black. And y'all, I'm really in love with this black. I know black is black, but man, this stuff is like pure black. Like. It's a very pretty black. I mean, oof, oof. Do y'all see the coverage? It's absolutely beautiful. I don't think I've ever been this obsessed with the black before. Like, I'm kind of shocked at how much I'm like intrigued by this black color, but it's absolutely stunning. This might be my new favorite black. I just, I really like this black a lot. And it is so opaque, like one coat coverage up in here. Very, very impressed. Stunning, absolutely stunning, I love it. Can you see that? One coat coverage, that's beautiful. Okay, all right, I'm gonna go ahead and do the rest of the nails here.
Y'all, this really is one coat coverage though. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and cure this for 30 seconds. This is what two coats of that black polish looks like. Now I'm gonna go in with my cat eye polish. I am gonna go ahead and do two full cat eye nails on both my middle finger and my ring finger. And um, I'm gonna be actually doing some galaxy nails, you guys. So this is actually my first time doing galaxy nails. So I hope it turns out good. But yeah, you all know I had to use this beautiful, it's called the Cat Eye Peacock Gel Polish and it's called Moon Tears. And it is such a beautiful color, oh my gosh. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply that to the middle finger. Oh, it's just too beautiful. Wow. I mean, I kinda almost like how it looks as is too. This is just stunning, oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. This is too beautiful. I'm in love. I'm absolutely in love with this polish, wow. Such a fun color to play with, you know? Such a fun color. Okay, so I do have my cat eye tool. Like I said, I got this from a different kit. And cat eye is really easy, you guys. You really just kind of hold the magnet over the polish, and then it gives you that cat eye effect. Can you see? So you see it gives that cat eye effect. So I'm gonna go ahead and cure this for 30 seconds. Wow, look at that, y'all. I'm loving this. How fun is this? This is amazing, I love it. And you really only need one coat of the cat eye, so I'm gonna do that same thing on my pinky nail. And when you guys, when working with cat eye polishes, once you um, put the magnet over the gel polish and get the, I guess, the kind of reflect that cat eye where you want it, you wanna go ahead and cure that right away. So that's the reason I didn't do both my pinky and my middle finger together. It's because I know if I let it sit, those little particles that, that create the cat eye, they'll start to disperse again and then it won't be like the look that I'm looking for. And so, yeah, y'all, I am loving that. That is hot, okay? So again, I'm just gonna kind of hold the magnet over. Okay, it creates that reflect that I want. I'm gonna go ahead and cure that. That's really nice. Okay, so that's how the two nails are looking so far. I'm absolutely loving this look, okay? Next, I'm gonna go in with some charms that I have. I do have these little earth charms here. I got these from Shein. I also have some bling here that I wanna try to incorporate into the look. This bling kinda has that shift that the peacock cat eye polish has. You guys see that kind of blue greenish shift? These kind of have that shift, so I might be adding those in. But first, I'm gonna go in with my globe. Okay, my my planet. And I definitely wanted to use a planet that had that green, purpley shift to it like so. So I'm gonna go in with that. And I'm gonna go in with that on my ring finger here, okay? And I just wanna get an idea of what this is gonna look like. So I'm gonna take my wax pencil and just set it on here just to kind of get an idea. And yes, I'm loving how that looks. So I'm gonna go ahead and place that here on the nail now. I don't know that I really like using um, my Beatles um, nail glue to adhere my rhinestones and embellishments and things like that. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm just gonna take a little bit of that and put it right here in the center of the nail, okay? Like so. Put it right here in the middle of the nail, like so. <laughs> That's moving around a lot. Okay. I'm gonna cure it underneath this lamp right here. Oh my gosh, it didn't fell on off. <laughs> I ain't moving fast enough, y'all. Let me try that one more time. Okay, so this is what the earth is looking like, y'all. I'm, I'm feeling what I'm laying down right now. I'm not gonna lie to you. So next, I kind of wanted to create a black hole on this nail. And so I'm gonna do that with this, this um, the Moon Tears polish. And what I'm gonna do is, I'm not gonna actually use the cat eye effect. I'm gonna just kind of keep it as is. And I'm just gonna kind of ha haphazardly apply the gel polish to the nail. And I really, like I said, want to create like this black hole effect, essentially, like so. And I think that that is it. So I'm going to go ahead and cure that. This is how 
the uh, cat eye polish looks if it's not uh, if the cat eye effect isn't activated and I'm loving how the set is turning out so far so I do want to go in with some four point stars on this hand on, on my index finger and I am going to go ahead and use the perfect white to make them and I might also go in with the perfect black to add some as well so we'll see I'm just gonna add a small amount of the black on my palette here along with the perfect white okay I do think I'm gonna go in with some black ones first so I'm gonna go in and just make just small dots all over um, this little black hole here that's kind of what we have and then from there literally Inside of the dot, I'm just gonna draw a line up, like so, a line down, like so, and then a line to the side, like so. It's hard to see with the black though because it's, I feel like it's kind of blending into the cat eye polish, but um, once I do it with the white, you all will be able to see it a lot better. So I'm gonna go through and do that. Okay, so this is what the black four point stars are looking like. Now I am gonna go in with the white and apply some white four point stars to the nail. Well, to my black hole, I'll, I'll call it. <laughs> so let me just put it in which way in here. I'm gonna kind of fill in the gaps of where I didn't put the black at. Here. Then I'm gonna just take my mic micro detailer brush and like I said at the top of the circle I'm just gonna go up down side to side. I'm gonna go up on the first one here Like so Just a straight line up. I'm gonna do a straight line down Okay, a line to the side then the line to the side. It's kind of hard to see this while I'm filming, but you guys kind of get the point here. So I'm gonna do the same thing on the side here. Kind of messed the first one up, but I'm gonna go down like so. Go up like so to the side, and then to the side. That's perfect. Okay, so I'm gonna continue that. Okay, happy people, as you all are watching me draw these four point stars, I wanted to pop in really quick and just give a special thanks to all of my subscribers and my nail sisters. I just wanna say that I really appreciate all of you all's love and support. Um, yeah, last month was a pretty tough month for me, but you all came through, showed out, and yeah, I just appreciate um, each and every last one of you. Uh, the continued support and love is greatly appreciated. And I also have a special announcement to make to you all. Um, I am going to be participating in a celebrity nail contest that's uh, hosted by Double Dip, and it's actually something that any and everybody can participate in and the cash prize is going to be worth up to ten thousand dollars that's going to be split between three people um, and so if you all want more details about how to enter that contest I'm going to leave a link down in the description box below but I was excited to share this with you all because they chose me as one of the ambassadors and I'm actually one of the faces of the video so I'm going to leave it linked down in the description box in case you guys want to check that out and in case you guys want to enter I would love to see your beautiful celebrity nail recreations but yeah y'all let's hop back into this video so i can finish up these galaxy nails i'm going to take a little bit of the base coat to apply those sequins and i think i'm going to just apply it to just part of half of the nail just some of the areas where i want it to be like i'm going to do half of the nail first like so i'm just going to take the small ones wasn't that pretty I love it. Okay, and I'm gonna take the small ones and put it on here. So I'm just gonna place them where I see fit. I have my little jelly flashlight stamper. I'm just gonna go ahead and cure this in place, like so. And I think I pushed too hard, y'all, because <laughs> I moved one of the stars out of place. Oh gosh. Alrighty, well, I guess I'll try that again. 
Is that gonna peel off? Let's see how that's gonna work. I think I pushed too hard, y'all. All right, so this is what the middle finger is looking like. My camera actually died as I was um, redoing this nail, but I am gonna show you how I applied it to this nail. It's pretty basic. You know, you just put on your base coat and then you add your four point star. So that's what I'm gonna do here. She coming together real nice. Okay, so now over here, I do wanna add some of the bigger four point stars on this hand. So I'm gonna take just a little bit of that base coat here and apply it to the tip of the nail. That looks good to me. And then at the top, I am gonna apply another four point star, but I'm gonna make it really small. All right, y'all, baby, these are coming together quite nicely. She a little extra, but she, she given. So on this hand here, I do want to apply some bling. Um, and so I am gonna just adhere it with top coat. Since the Madame Glam top coat is a no, is, is a wipe off top coat, I'm not gonna actually apply it to this particular nail. I'm just gonna use a no wipe top coat um, from a different brand, and, but I will use that to adhere my rhinestones. And I'm gonna do just a few at the cuticle and then a few at the tip of the nail. And that's really to tie in the rhinestones that I have on my ring finger. And I'm gonna show you guys here. I have these rhinestones here, which I think matches perfectly with this rhinestone. So I do have some prepped and ready to go, okay. All right, so these all look good to me. I'm gonna go ahead and cure that. All right, y'all, so that is looking good. Now I'm gonna go in with the Madame Glam top coat on these two fingers. All right, so I cured the Madame Glam top coat. I am gonna go in with a no white top coat on the ring finger, just so I don't have to worry about trying to wipe around um, my charm here. Y'all know I'm about to act a fool. Let me go ahead and wipe off this sticky layer from the Madame Glam top coat. I'm gonna do my thumb off camera, pop some cuticle oil on, and I'm gonna get into the finished look, okay? All right, you guys. Ain't she cute though? Yes, Galaxy Nails, we are here. All right, take me to a galaxy far, far away, baby. I am loving how this set turned out. Those moon tears, baby, they got me over here crying, okay, at how beautiful this set turned out. I'm absolutely loving it. Y'all see what I got going on here. I did the rhinestones at the cuticle and then at the tip, I drew my four point stars in black and in white on this nail. Okay, love how that turned out. Y'all see the glisten? This cat eye polish, y'all, these moon tears are just absolutely stunning. Love it. I added those uh, four, four point star sequins here. Y'all see my little planet that's out here in this little galaxy that I have created here on my nails. And baby, I'm absolutely here for all of it, okay? I did go ahead and recreate the same look on my thumbnail. And y'all, these are my galaxy nails. Let me know what y'all think down in the comments. Like, how did I do? Like, I wasn't really sure where this set was gonna go, but I love how it turned out, okay? Like, yes, the only thing I was really sure about was this nail here and that I wanted to draw the black hole in the galaxy, but everything else was up for grabs and I'm loving how it turned out. Y'all see that reflect? Oh my goodness. I forget how much fun cat eye polishes are. My final thoughts, y'all already know I absolutely love Madame Glam products. Um, they're high quality. I love the fact that it's a very clean brand. They are vegan, they're cruelty free, they're HEMA free, they're nine free, they're 21 free, they're palm oil free. Like anything free, y'all name it, it's Madame Glam. And I just absolutely love the high quality products that they produce and have. And so yeah, you guys, I do actually have a discount code uh, with Madame Glam's if you guys wanna get your hands on some of their amazing high quality products. Um, my discount code is ROSEB30 underscore two. And so I am gonna leave all of that link down in the description box as well as a link. It is gonna be a bit.ly link. Just click that link and it's gonna take you straight to Madame Glam's website where my discount code 
code will be automatically applied and y'all will be able to save y'all some coins when y'all get y'all hands on some of these awesome polishes. This black and this white is nice. If y'all don't have a good black or a good white in your collection, I highly recommend getting the black and the white from Madame Glam. Um, I love the fact that I was able to do a simple nail art on here and y'all see how opaque the white is even over top of different colors underneath that stuff still showed up and this black is probably the prettiest black I've ever seen which again I think it is weird to describe a black as pretty but it's such a nice pure just solid beautiful black yeah I don't really know how to describe it but it's a beautiful black and yeah y'all I had a lot of fun playing around with these other polishes as well and of course these moon tears were just absolutely beautiful and just a lot of fun to play with so yeah y'all again Madam Glam you all have knocked my socks off thank you all so much for the opportunity to review your products again I am really looking forward to building my collection with more of your polishes because they are top notch so I hope y'all enjoyed this video again let me know what y'all think about my galaxy nail baby they giving me life it's a little bit extra it's taking me to a place far far away okay <laughs> so yeah I do also have a full tutorial on the look that I created on this hand I'm gonna leave that link down in the description box but yeah let me know which Manny is y'all favorite I ain't gonna lie I'm really kind of feeling this one I know it's not summer time appropriate but I'm just loving all the extraness and how it came out but yeah I hope y'all enjoyed this video I do upload every Tuesday Thursday and Saturday Thursdays in particular are my nail therapy Thursday premieres where I tune in live with you all as you watch me do my nails and yeah if you all like what you saw here definitely stick around join the happy family I'd love to have you and as always you guys leave some love in the comments down below and I'll see you in my next video. I hope you all have a wonderful, awesome, spectacular day. Bye!